Good morning, family. Hey, what's up with it? Today is a video day in May, number 18. The 18th of May, 2017. Today is Thursday, and it is about 9.36 in the a.m. And family, you know what? I decided I'd come on today and I'd talk about, you know, me trying to get my shit together. And, you know, on how I'm trying to get my mental together. You guys are asking me questions about what am I taking, what am I doing, how am I getting my shit together, and how and why is it that it's showing. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just, so I'm just going to come on and I'm going to just kind of answer some of you guys' questions. I got a few things that I wanted to show you guys on what works for me. I ask that you find out what works for you. You know what I mean? Because, see, I could show you all day long about what works for me, but it's called subjective. Everything don't work for everybody. Everybody don't pray for the same thing. And everybody ain't going the same place. So everybody's journey is going to be different. But you find out what works for you by, you know, just observing other people. On, because you're supposed to have different people around you anyway. Because and therefore, that kind of lets you know which way to go. You know, by having diversity in your life, it kind of shows you on your path. Okay, I just kind of seen it. We don't kind of talked about that. I talked about that with that set of friends. This set of friends here is bringing something else to the table. So as you begin to assimilate with all these different people in your path, then it's kind of going to guide you on which way to go. Just like me. I'm just that motherfucker rolling with you with the light. You know what I mean? I'm going to be the light on some old Tinkerbell shit, bitch. Let's go this way. You know what I mean? Try this right here. Let's see if it works for you. It might work. It might not. But in the midst of it all, you're going to find out what works for you because you're going to realize that what worked for Tina didn't really work for you, but there was a different version of somewhat of the same that ended up working for me. So I'm just trying to be a vessel. To give you something to kind of put in your head other than the bullshit that you continue to put in it. So then therefore you can start saying, you know what, check this out. Sometimes it just might be me. She might be on to something. Sometimes I might need to start being accountable on some shit. You know, and when you start getting yourself together and you begin to push past and push forward in your path. Man, you, you got to start, you know, I mean. Because you're not fooling nobody but yourself. So you have to start getting honest and start trusting yourself. You know what I mean? And you begin to realize that, you know what, I came in this motherfucker by myself and I'm going out by myself. Okay? But the fruits of my labor and, and my labor and my portion is going to be my, well, because of my works and what I'm putting out, you know, and what I'm, it, you know, pretty much in a sense is going to be what you're getting back. So, the thing is, one thing about it, you can't ask for no more than what you're willing to give. You know what I'm saying? So you can be out here in this motherfucker shucking and jiving if you want to. That's why your shit's fucked up. You know? And, and you ain't going to admit it to nobody. But deep down inside, you know what? Damn, she really right. My shit is really fucked up. This is all just a mask in the mirror. You know what I mean? To other motherfuckers, I'm look like I'm doing this right here. But deep down inside, nigga, I ain't really cooking with no gas. You know what I'm saying? You know? So then therefore, but really, motherfuckers that's strong in their spirituality and strong in their path, then therefore, you ain't got to tell me because I can see it on you. You know what I'm saying? I can see, I can look at you in your face and tell you all kind of shit be wrong with your motherfucking ass. Nigga, you need to drink some water. Your skirt is not looking right. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things about you. I can look at your tongue and tell some things about you. You know what I mean? That's just the fact of being observant and understanding how my body works. Man, you can motherfucker can't tell me nothing about me. Oh, I'm you I'm, oh, you, I need to check this right here. I think now, nah, nah, motherfucker, you ain't got that from over here. Nah, cause I'm too in tuned about how my shit fucking works. You know what I'm saying? So see, you have to be totally in tune with yourself and trust in yourself. Trust in your own instincts and your own intuition, and you need to strengthen on that. And the way that you strengthen on that is spend a lot of time by your goddamn self. Whereas, you know what, I got to depend on myself. Oh, okay. That's my motherfucking song right there. Love on the Brain. This motherfucker did that on that right there, man. That shit is, oh my God, that shit is flame. Yeah, that's my shit right there. But yeah, you have to be honest with who you are because you have to be able to trust you. You know how like in the, um... 
Terminator movie when it first come on, dude come out in the in 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 the world naked. He just come out like a bolt of light and just hit the concrete. Bam, he by himself. It's like he try to he he got to pretty much depend upon himself to make it in this land or in this life or whatever. When the motherfucker go out, you going out and you crossing over by your fucking self. You know, so you have to really be able to trust you. And don't allow a lot of people in your personal space. Because you, you they bringing a lot of shit in there with them that's fucking up your own feng shui. Cut, fucking up your own thought process. It's like, damn, I ain't never used to do this kind of shit no more. But now, all of a sudden, now, nigga, I'm doing shit I really wasn't never really doing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you're taking on this energy of somebody else. And this is, they're fighting their own shadows and their demons that they're not standing accountable for. They're not ready to be honest and being truthful. That's why I'm saying you have to accept motherfuckers for where they at in their path because everybody don't get it at the same time. It's not the age, it's the stage. I'm telling you that. You can look at a motherfucker and be all day long. This motherfucker right here is 27 years old. And this motherfucker is so goddamn smart. I mean, just in tune with what's going on. But then you meet a motherfucker that's 57 and don't know shit from Shinola. Be out there biting at the wind, talking, just saying some crazy ass shit. And everybody looking like, I don't know what this motherfucker. Just feed this motherfucker. You know, you see them kind of people around in your neighborhoods or whatever where motherfuckers just feed them. You know, it's like, you know, it's like just dead and walking dead like a zombie or something. You know, it's like, what what happened? What happened somewhere? You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> anyway, you have <clears throat> when you begin to trust yourself, you don't allow certain things in your personal space. You just defend it off. It's like your whole, your the aura. You know, it's like a, a beeping red light. Like, uh-oh, wait a minute. That's when I was talking about the energy. You got to check the highs and lows and how shit feel. When you get around something, nigga, you feel like like some kind of like like anxious or like some kind of threat. Like, nigga, is we about to do something? You know what I mean? One of them. And it's like your hairs and shit begin to straighten up on you, your, on your back and on your hand and shit. And it's like, nigga, what's happening? No. You know, it's like, you know, all of a sudden your instinct kick in like, nigga, something about to really jump off in this motherfucker. You know, and it don't take that long for that aura, for that energy to come in like, wait a minute, everybody get them, getting ready to run in a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? It's just an aura, an energy in the room, okay? You have to pay attention to certain things and don't don't just walk around here and just be on what you own. You got to watch all these motherfuckers. Not like watching them like really like, you know, on some old gaze and shit cuz now you looking crazy. I'm talking about feeling these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Just feeling these people, just feeling, you know, feeling people on how they get down. You know, when you begin to get in tune with yourself, you ain't and another thing, you ain't going to be just sleeping with no any goddamn body. You know, because now you're sharing bodily secretions. You you taking it all on a soul level. You know, why the fuck are you having the these you know these solar get downs with motherfuckers that you don't really give a fuck about? And it's just something to do. Nigga, that's reckless. That's that no, that nigga, that's out of style. Ain't nobody doing that shit. Where, where, where is that where is that done? That means that there is something inside of you that you need to heal from. You are truly conflicted. It is something going on with you. The whereas you feel as though it is okay to just share your body with just any and everybody. That is not where it's at. And something is wrong. Real 100 shit. I'm talking to somebody right now. Really. Honestly. You're going to have to really come into the fact that something. You got some other shit going on that you really need to take heed of. Because. When you're sleeping and sharing yourself with people like that, you don't know what they're feeling. You don't know if this person is actually doing this because they want to really have something with you or they just on the same shit you on. Out of them four or five or however many, however many two or three, whatever your get down is, somebody is going to be catching feelings. Nigga, that can get deadly. You can get caught up in all kind of traps with that kind of crazy shit. It's combustible. You know, so why would you do that? You're, the karma that you're bringing into your life is really not good because you're out here fucking with people's emotions. That ain't not. That ain't even hot. It's like where's that done at? That means that you have to be truly a bottom feeder. That means that your life has to be so low where you just out here just collecting souls, and that is not good, nigga. That is all bad. That is 
all bad. I don't know. I'm just getting this right here on my, you know what I'm saying, this right here to go ahead on and say it to somebody. Slow down on that shit, for real. 100 shit. Because one of these motherfucking times, it ain't going to turn out the way you want it to be. You know, and then you're going to meet somebody in your life that you really want to fuck with or whatever, but you've been on some old wilding out for so motherfucking long, you don't know how to slow down with this man or woman that you really want to be with because the shit that you're trying to get them to do or you trying to subject them to, motherfucker, is motherfuckers out here getting paid for that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And when you're living that type of reckless lifestyle to where as you're intermingling and, and sleeping with and just casually dating and all this kind of stuff with all these different people and having sex with these motherfuckers and shit, man, oh my God, the demons, the shadows, the shadows, your pH balance. You know what I'm saying? How you smell, how you, you know what I'm saying? Because you're kissing different people. You eating on these different women pussies or whatever. You sucking on these different dicks and whatever have you. Can you imagine what's going on in your motherfucking body? Real shit, nigga. You better stop that shit. That ain't hot. That ain't no good. Stop that bullshit. However old you are, that is reckless. You're going the wrong way. You are going the wrong way. Red light, blinking, you're going the wrong way. It's going to end up all bad for you. Because at some point in time, you're going to have to pay. And if you've been doing this for however many long time, and you ain't had to pay the piper, when it, that shit, when the motherfucking gavel hit down and it's your time to pay, you're going to pay real motherfucking bad. And it could be in some arenas that you ain't really liking. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't going to be comfortable for you. So either you're going to be riddled with some type of, uh, you know, health crisis that's just eating you up, or you're going to get locked the fuck up, or you're going to fuck with somebody in motion to where this motherfucker is going to hurt your ass. Now you got all this other shit to deal with. Stop that. That shit is crazy. You're going the wrong way. It's like, I'm, I'm like on some red light. Like, look, you're going the wrong way. Stop it, please. Because you're going to fuck around and it's going to end up real bad for you. I mean, I don't know. Just, just you know, stop it. Because that's, that's not where it's at. Begin to trust yourself. You know what I mean? Begin to trust yourself. Humble yourself. Be honest with your goddamn self. You know what? I've been fucking up. And sometimes you need to cry sometimes. Sometimes sometime you need to just shut all this motherfucking bullshit down. Shut all the shit off, everything, nigga, and get you a good ass cry in on some real shit. Because it's like, damn, why in the fuck am I turning on myself like this? This is my temple. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is my, this is my everything. This right here is my ability to make money. You know what I'm saying? To be about in this world and to have fun. You know, have good connections with people. You know, build my tribe and all this whole time. Why am I doing this shit to me? I can't even trust these motherfuckers I'm laying with. You know what I'm saying? Then when you fuck around and get yourself, laying yourself in something, you don't trust them. They don't trust you either. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's just, it's just all bad. It is truly all bad. So, you know, don't, don't get yourself caught up in that spiral because it is truly a spiral out of control and it don't lead to nothing but all bad, the abyss. I mean, it's just dark and demonic and just dirty, you know what I'm saying? And just all kinds of shit. And that type of person that's going through that type of spiral effect, how in the fuck can they really, you know what I'm saying? They don't love them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like shit all is going to come from 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 you is negative negativity because that is what you feel and that's what you project into the world and that's what you're attracting. You know, and all of them people that you are laying with and assimilating with, they are just as low as you. They don't feel a, give a fuck about they self neither. So then really, it ain't you ain't really winning. You know what I'm saying? You ain't winning. You know, I, I seen a video a long time ago. And this young lady was on there talking about how, you know what I'm saying, she do this right here and I'll do your daddy too and all that other kind of, kind of shit. Man, that's crazy. You know, because that lets you know that it is people that are really motherfucking low. Real fucking low. And there's times when you're going to have low times in your life, but don't put yourself that motherfucking low though. You know what I'm saying? Don't put yourself that motherfucking low, please, because it don't look good. And it's going to end up in a bad way. Real, real, real 100 shit, though. So, 
uh, off of that. Begin to trust yourself and stand accountable, you know. Be accountable. You know what? I did that. You know what I'm saying? Kids are liars. Grown folks ain't supposed to be out here lying. What are you lying for? Lying for what? As grown people, you're not supposed to be lying. Really. Knock, knock, knock. If you're over motherfucking 20 years old, nigga, you ain't got no reason to be out here lying. Now, but I will give you a break up until, say, 30 motherfucking years old. But after that, you really ain't got no business motherfucking lying. Actually, that is an integrity motherfucking flaw. Real shit. Major one, too. Because I'd rather deal with a motherfucking thief than to deal with a fucking liar. A liar where you just looking in somebody's face just, just lying. I mean, just, oh my God. Nah, that is just, that's a, that nigga, that's a hell of an integrity issue. To be a liar, you never want to be deemed that. Get that, that's demonic. Get that shit up off you on some real shit. A liar where you could just sit up in people's faces and just, that means that you're totally disconnected. That's a disconnect. That is a total disconnect. That means that you don't give a fuck about nobody. You have no respect. You don't give a fuck about your feelings or theirs or nothing either. Just to sit in somebody's face and lying to them. Man, it's a lot of shit that, you know, we as a people really need to look at and change. Because and, and a lot of stuff that, you know, you don't even really realize that you're doing. You know what I mean? But, but you're looking at your life and it's like, you know what, I'm really not having fun. I'm really not having fun. This shit, ain't, this shit is playing out. And then you just begin to just start collecting more and more and more and more victims. And more and more, you screw more and more and more venom. And it's just spiraling out of control. What are you doing? Get the fuck off the treadmill. You clowning right now. You looking bad, dog. Stop that shit, my nigga. You looking crazy right now. For real. And especially if you got children, goddamn it, your kids, I don't give a fuck how old they are. They still seeing mama still can't get no man. Mama, what are you doing? Ain't no man trying to really, you know what I'm saying, kick it with you on, on, on this type of for real type status. What's going on? You know what I mean? Daddy, damn, every time, it's, it's always you got a new woman all the motherfucking time. What is this, mama? What's going on? You know what I mean? What is this, daddy? You know what I'm saying? No. No, you have to be able to sustain lasting relationships with people. And you also need to know when to get off when shit ain't working right. And shit ain't, shit ain't working right. No, 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 no. That's when those, those are the ones that you're supposed to get off of because the people that you fucking with aren't ready. They're not on the same shit you own. So either you're going to stay with that and become it, or you're going to say, okay, I love myself enough to say... You know what? I learned a lot about me in this particular situation. But guess what? Either we're going to work on this together as a couple and, you know, and also get our minds uh, right uh, for the both of us, whatever. Or I'm going to have to let you go. I mean, it's just that simple. Because, ladies, if you do not let it go, you're going to be so fucking low and you're going to try to figure out how in the hell I can't even swim up. I can't get up. I'm just drowning. I'm just drowning in sorrow. I'm drowning in all this weight. My hair is falling out. My skin is breaking out. My nerves are so bad. I'm drinking all this wine. You know what I mean? I'm gaining so much weight around my midsection because of stress. I got fibromyalgia. My heartbeat keep giving me extra, you know, beats and all this old type of shit. I can't sleep at night. I choke in my sleep. That's some sleep apnea shit. That's some shit fucking with your ass. You know what I'm saying? It's some shit fucking with your goddamn ass. Real shit. You know? Shit. When shit don't feel right, it ain't right. If you're not having fun... Something is wrong. Something went wrong somewhere. Wake the fuck up on some real shit. Before you fuck around and something end up happening to your ass because you out here being reckless. Now people pushing you in a motherfucking corner and you looking out the window and watching everybody moving and shaking. Because now you done had to pay for them transgressions that you've been doing all this long motherfucking time. Because God have a way of sitting your ass down after you've done too much. That's to just keep it real. He giveth and he taketh away. Now, all this time, he's been allowing you getting away with this bullshit 
You know what I'm saying? But yet and still, he just giving you small little punishments. Small little, you know what I'm saying? You know, little nudges and pushes to tell you, okay, slow down. Slow down. Stop it. Stop it. But yet and still, you want to keep going and keep going and keep going. Okay, no problem. Something is going to happen to your motherfucking ass. Real one hundred shit. If that ain't, I, and I don't, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not prophesying or nothing, nothing, nothing like that. But I'm just saying, no real one hundred shit. Think about what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Cause your kids and everybody is watching this motherfucking shit. You know, you ain't looking hot, my nigga. It ain't, it ain't a good look for you. <laughs> it, it's not a, the jokes on you, kid, silly rabbit. You looking crazy right now. Real shit. Your shit ain't fire. Your shit ain't hot. Nigga, you supposed to be having some fun right now. You so, you supposed to be on some old twin flame shit. You know what I'm saying? At a certain age? Hell yeah. The relationships that you do find yourself in, okay, you might get out of a few. I've done that. I've gotten in and out because, hey, if it's not going to, if I, if I can't grow with you, I got to let you go. Period. Because I can't allow you to bring me down. So I'm going to give you chance after chance. Okay, can we work on this? Can we fix this? Can we fix this? Can we fix this? Hey, if, if I get to a point to where I see all I'm doing is talking and you ain't really listening to me right now, then therefore that means you ain't really respecting me. You're not respecting what I'm, ta what I'm, what I'm talking about. You're not respecting my guideline. You're not respecting my boundaries, shall I say. You know what I mean? You're not really trying to grow with me. So then therefore, see you later. Bye. I got to get going. I'm out of here, this motherfucker. See you later. Adios, amigo. All that old time. Domino, nickel. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah. So then therefore, but start trusting yourself, though. Because when therefore, when, there's, when you say goodbye and whatever have you, you all right with it. You got to be all right with the decisions that you make. You got to be all right because you made the best motherfucking decision off the options that you had. Look, check this out. I chose me, my nigga. I, I look, I, me. I pick me, nigga. Nigga, I, me. Yeah. So then, therefore, respect that. Respect your path. <clears throat> anyway, on some other shit. 